Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Andrew here. I'm gonna do my full review on the all-new Asus X102BA laptop. Let's see if it's worth your hard-earning bucks. All right, let's get started. So for late 2013, Asus introduces the all-new ultra portable affordable laptop. This laptop features a 10.1 inch HD LED backlit screen with a resolution of 1366 by 768, 10 finger multi-touch support, AMD A4-1200 processor running at one gigahertz with no turbo boost, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM running at 1066, 320 gigabyte hard drive running at 5400 RPM, AMD HD8180 graphics with shared graphics memory, HD webcam, 802.11b GNN Wi-Fi, three cell lithium ion battery, which Asus claims you can get up to five hours. This laptop is currently running Microsoft Windows 8, but you can upgrade to Windows 8.1 for free through the Windows Store. This laptop also comes in three different color options. You can get black, blue and pink and the retail price is $399. All right, let's get started. All right, first let's talk about the 10.1 inch LED backlit screen with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Display quality and colors were good. Only issues I had was with the screen size. To me, the sweet spot for an ultra portable is 11 inch. All right, for this section, let's go ahead and take a look at the ports on the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your VGA port, HDMI output, AC charging port, USB 3.0 port, and exhaust port for your fans. And here goes your SD and MMC card reader. All right, let's flip it over to the other side. Let's take a look what we have there. All right, starting from the right, you got your Kensington security slot, Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headset and microphone combo. Next up, let's test out the boot up speed on the all new Asus X102BA laptop. All right, let's go. ASUS logo now, still booting, logging in, still booting, and boom, we're done. So roughly around 20 to 21 seconds, which is fairly decent considering there's no SSD drive or hybrid SSD in here. Next up, let's talk about the design and build quality of the new ASUS X102BA laptop. Let me give you a view of the top. The thickness of this laptop is just over an inch and the weight comes in at 2.4 pounds. The build quality overall is fairly decent considering the price point of $399. Next up let's talk about keyboard and trackpad performance. The keyboard felt a little bit too small for my taste, especially the arrow keys. However, with time you'll get adjusted to its size. Overall, typing on this keyboard was adequate, nothing to brag about. Trackpad performance was precise and smooth. I didn't have any issues with the trackpad. Next up, let's test out the viewing angle performance here on the 10.1 inch HD LED backlit screen. Let me check the brightness here. Brightness is at 100%. All right, let me go ahead and rotate to the left side and test out the viewing angles. It's starting to blur out a little bit. So viewing angles is adequate, nothing too great on this laptop. All right, let's test out on the right side now. Go ahead and rotate. Starting to dim out a little bit. Yeah, it's getting very blurry now. So if you're looking for something with a better viewing angle, you're gonna to wanna to look for a laptop with an IPS display. All right, now let's test out the viewing angles while tilting the display down. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. As you can see here, now the display looks very washed out. As soon as I tilt it back up, you regain the colors. Next up, let's test out some Geekbench 3 performance scores here. This is a 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 576. Multi-core score, I got 1,023. Next up, let's test out Cinebench R15 OpenGL test. The test gave me a mediocre score of 5.88 frames per second. However, with that being said, some less demanding games will be playable, but don't expect too much and CPU score came in at 36 CB. All right, let's go ahead and test out the hard drive performance. This laptop features a 320 gigabyte, 5400 RPM hard drive. For the read speed, I was able to get 82.78 megabytes a second. For the write speed, I was able to get 77.26 megabytes a second, which is average for this kind of hard drive. Battery performance was good. On average, I was able to get anywhere from three and a half to four and a half hours out of a full charge. That's with the screen brightness at around 70%. The AMD A4-1200 was very power efficient. 
Next up, let's run through some of the programs and software here and test out the performance of the A4-1200 CPU. Let's go ahead and browse through here. Let's go ahead and launch the weather. Still loading. Come on, A4. Still waiting. And boom, we're done. All right, let's go back to the Windows 8 screen. Let's go to the desktop now. And let's go ahead and launch Firefox and test it out and see how fast it loads up. Here goes Firefox, double click. Still loading. And boom, we're done. So as you can see, the A4 processor is not quite that fast. However, with web browsing and word processing and etc., it should be adequate for most users. I just wish ASUS went with the AMD A6-1450 processor, which would have yielded slightly better performance. Next up, let's test out the touchscreen on the new ASUS X102 laptop. Let's test out some scrolling here on this website. Overall, scrolling was very smooth. Looked like the website was still loading. Let me test it out again. There we go, much smoother. Let me try to zoom in. Next up, let's test out Wi-Fi performance on the new ASUS X102BA laptop. The connection I have at home here is from Time Warner Cable running about 20 megabits down and about 2 megabits up. So let's start the speed test. So Wi-Fi performance is looking like I'm pulling about 14 to 15 megabits a second. So about 5 megabits lower than what I'm supposed to get. And for the uploads, I'm getting about 2 megabits a second, which is on par with my average. For the duration of this test, this laptop was connected to an Apple Airport Extreme router. I didn't have any experience with any Wi-Fi related issues. Only thing I noticed was the download speed was slightly slower than usual. For $399, I felt like ASUS could have done a little bit better. Only 2 gigabytes of RAM? What? Are we in 2008? For $20 less, do not forget to check out the HP Pavilion TouchSmart 11-E011NR, which is similar to the model I reviewed in August. You gain 2GB more of RAM, a slightly bigger screen. Only trade-off is the weight. The HP is about 1 pound heavier than the ASUS. And the A4-1250 is a little bit more power hunger than the A4-1200 in the ASUS. With that being said, the ASUS is a decent basic laptop. If you just need something that's very light to take on the go, to browse the web, word processing, and watching videos. Only downsides to this laptop was the 2GB of RAM and the less than average speaker quality. Alright, that completes my review on the all new ASUS X102BA laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.